Hey everybody, welcome back to another Beard Guys video. My name's Ben and today we're going to have a look at some exclusive screenshots that PUBG have shared with some of the PUBG partners of the brand new 8x8 map Tago. This map is going to be going live on PC on the 7th of July and will be going live on console on the 15th of July. It's been confirmed that it's going to hit the test servers on the 30th of June and there will be no test server for console. It will also be available in custom games on launch so we'll be able to check it out in all its glory. But the focus today is to go through these screenshots. So there's a whole bunch of them. We've got 17 high res, really cool looking screenshots. So I'm gonna shrink down the camera and we're gonna have a little look at all of the ones that PUBG have sent us. So now I'm out of the way, we can have a look through what PUBG has sent over. And from going through these earlier today, I'm getting really good first impressions of the map. It's giving off some really strong Erangel vibes, it's an 8x8 map, and the look of the different areas they've shown in these screenshots all looks pretty interesting. There's really nice variation of terrain. We can see this first one here. Here's a little town. We've got some little farming areas with some rounding hills and trees. Nice little bits of cover, variety to it. Not too much open ground. This, this area here you can see is one of the coastal areas uh, on the map. As we move on, there's this airfield type area. We've got a couple of different shots of this. This is a more uh, higher up one. There's an airplane on the strip. I don't know if you can use the airplane. It does say there's new vehicles coming in this map. So maybe uh, you can use the airplane. There is gonna be this respawn mechanic that is specific only to this map. So uh, we'll wait and see if those airplanes are anything to do with that or usable in any sense. But again, it's an interesting looking area. Looks more appealing to me, this kind of map than I think the Miramar layout, which is a bit empty. The Sanok layout, which is a bit busy. Uh, it's like a nice kind of middle ground that I think Erangel has. So moving on a bit further, we we can see we've got this one is another military camp. It wouldn't be a PUBG map without some kind of military camp on it. Looks like it's again, maybe on one of the coastal areas. There's a bit of a bay over on the east there and a little canal kind of going off from it. So a little kind of medium sized military compound here. Further on, we have some more traditional looking stuff, pagoda style buildings and a little waterfall. It looks pretty nice. Over here, we've got a fishing area, some sort of fish farm or oyster farm or something with some warehouse floating buildings on some pontoons as well. A lot of the areas in these screenshots give me a kind of a mix of like Erangel meets Paramo kind of vibes. You can see it's got that kind of Southeast Asian feel. There's a lot of these kind of rice fields going on like you see on Paramo. The buildings are probably a little bit more Paramo style uh, than Erangel. Obviously, there's a lot more going on here. You can see in the middle of this town, there's some sort of big temple type thing up in the uh, middle of this area here looks kind of interesting and as we move on you can get a bit of a close look at some of the rice fields here they've got these little dips at the side and then quite open areas around here uh, there's another one here that shows again one of the more open areas another view here of those rice fields from the side little truck looking over it. you can see the lay of the land there's a lot of kind of hill variation going on nothing too crazily steep i'm not sure if there's an actual like big mountain on this map but there's a lot of undulation in the terrain a lot of height variation uh, across the map. This is another view across one of the towns and some fields in the surrounding area. You can see there's a big old solar farm kind of thing. I think over on the east looks like there's uh, maybe a bit of a higher mountain slash hill up in the top right of that picture as well. And then another town, couple of warehouses off on the top left there. Looks like we've got another prison building here. There's a nice little interior shot of it as well. You can see uh, this one here. This looks like um, it's over on the coast again. It feels like they've gone for the Miramar tactic of shoving the prison right over on the edge of the water. So hopefully it's somewhere you actually get to play, but looks pretty interesting. Quite different to the previous uh, prison that we've seen on Miramar and a lot of the other buildings. Pretty unique uh, looking structure. Got a lot of verticality to it. Should be pretty interesting to fight in there, at least in um, FPP anyway. There's also this school type building. I think it's a school. It, it kind of looks like a school. And then there's like a stage out the front with a load of chairs looking at it. And then what I guess is a load of prizes. There's a little car. There's some bikes on some little podiums. Then there's some fridges, there's some microwaves and some rice cookers. So I guess this is, you know, some sort of competition thing that was going on that's maybe part of the law. Maybe, you know, if you win uh, the battle row and kill everyone else, you get a fridge and a rice cooker. But um, or maybe it's just left over from before the actual battle royale stuff started. It kind of gives me vibes of like the battle royale film. That was, I feel like, in a kind of similar sort of school type building, wasn't it? Although I haven't seen it for about 15 
15 years. Another little area here showing some detail of some of the buildings. You can see some of them have steps going up from the outside over on the left there. Uh, you can see this one here, steps going all the way up to the middle floor and to the top floor. And then these sort of tiered rice paddies again with a little hill going off of the top. So that's all of the screenshots we have. I'll just scroll back through them while we talk about it a little bit. I haven't played on the map yet. Won't be able to play that until the 30th, which when it goes onto the PC test servers, which is a couple of weeks time. But judging from the screenshots, it looks like a very appealing map to play. It looks like it kind of sits, you know, in a, a way that's a lot more similar to Erangel than to anything else we'd seen. Maybe like I said, a cross between Erangel and Paramo. If it's got Paramo loot um, and Erangel feels, then I'll be a very happy man. So very excited about playing this. The new Miramar update didn't get me super excited. This I'm really looking forward to trying out. So um, yeah, it could be a really big thing, big exciting thing for PUBG. I hope everyone comes along and checks it out. As soon as it is out on the PC test servers, we'll be taking a look at it and checking it out. And then once it's on console, we will be checking it out on console too. So thanks for hanging out today. Hope you found that video interesting. Let me know what you think about the new map and what you've seen of it so far down in the comments below. My name's Ben. We are the Beard Guys, and I'll see you next time.